All right, hey guys, I'm burning daylight. So I just wanted to bring you along while I transplant the pineapple. Okay, so first of all, I had to go get a big pot. Nice big pot. I think this is a 10 incher, I believe. I believe it's a 10 inch pot. So, so far I've already got compost in it and I'm getting ready to mix in a little bit of pot and soil in with the compost and kind of just mix it together a little bit. Um, I've already watered, pre-watered, as you can see, the pineapple plant to make it easier to pull out of that little container um, hole. So let me get the pot mix put in here and I'll be back. I did add, you know, I told you I had the compost and the potting soil, but I had a generous two handfuls of perlite to help soften the soil so the roots you don't have to work so hard to get through it once it gets compacted from water use. And now I'm going to show you. A little bit closer. Thank you. What we got? Probably going to add just a little bit more dirt. Um, it looks like this is already producing some dead foliage here. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that off. Now, this is a learning process. Obviously, <laughs> do not live in the tropics. So, oh, there's a peel bug. Got to get him out. Don't want to bring that in the house when it's uh gets cold to bring it in the house so i'm gonna put a little bit more dirt in here um maybe around here is the let's see if you can if i can whew, this is hard to do and my hands are super dirty now but here you have the original plant and got some peel bugs We got the original plant right here if you can see that that was what the uh, stalk from the grocery store pineapple was so that is what all of this excuse me turn back around and I don't know but there's another whole nother you can see a whole nother plant coming off of this so who knows where the pineapple is going to be if it's going to be in this new side shoot or if it's going to be in the main one that's taken off. All a learning process. Um, I will say this. I bought the pot. And it had a self um, water dish in the bottom. But it was so too snug. I like to water my potted plants from the bottom. So I water in here. And it, so that way... It gives, forces the roots to reach for the water. So that way it's just easier to. And you don't just have it just watering from the top. Every now and then I will. Once a month I water um, like the lemon tree. 
I'll water a little bit from the top, but not a lot. Most of it I put down in the the dish in the bottom. And it, trust me, it goes quick. <laughs> um, but for the most part, this summer, I have not watered, personally watered these plants. I've just kind of let most of the rain now when we were in the drought, what, May, June, 100 degrees, I'd give them water once a week. Um, but other than that, being out here on my little porch of my garden shed, you know, it gets some rain. So this is the pineapple i already got some little brown spots i probably should uh read up on pineapples like i said even though they're technically not supposed to grow here um but of course when frost comes i'm going to bring it in the house um it depends on how cold it is i may just sit it in the greenhouse for a little while until it just gets too cold for these plants to be out especially the lemon who knows how long i got on this lemon but i will show you an update it looks like a lime, but trust me, it's a lemon. It'll stay green until it's about ready to pick. But I'm super excited about that um, one-year plant. Um, literally, I uh, got the root in June of 21. And it was literally a stick. So, citrus. I guess this is going to be a citrus video, not just pineapples. So, Anyway, um, fingers crossed for continued success on the pineapple. You know, you'll get updates here and there throughout the uh, gardening process. Um, anyway, like I said, keep doing what you can when you can. And then after that, you can can it. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good night. Talk to you soon. Many blessings.